Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I'm just gonna talk for a couple minutes here while I'm waiting for my tea to steep. I don't know why they call it steeping, but they do. Well, I'm not sure if this is the best angle, but it's the angle you're getting, so. Life, the meaning of it. Fun times, emotions, thoughts, behaviors. What else is there, really? We have our thoughts, we have our feelings, we have our sensations, we have our perceptions, and there's other more subtle junk that's in there as well. In where? <laughs> Is that what you're asking? In where? I don't know where. Where do you mean? This is the whole thing, right? Subjectivity, objectivity. It's like, um, I don't know, man. The mind is like this weird lens or like focal. It's like a mirror. It's like, um, I don't know what it is, but I know that you can... You can, with your eyes, like the eyes are a really great, I guess, um, entryway or entry point to the mind. It's like the eyes can be open or closed, right? And when it's open, we get so much sensation. I feel like the, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the eyes are probably the predominant sense for humans. Um, in that like more processing power is devoted to that than any of the other senses. Could be wrong on that though. But See, if it sure feels that way. I feel like when my eyes are open that the visual field is like really prominent. I might not even hear things sometimes, but definitely see them. So anyways, what am I even talking about? <laughs> This is the experience, right? It's like, okay, so there we are. There we, there we go. We did it. <laughs> we did it. It's done. Now what? And that's always the question is like, well, what now? Okay, because in this moment, anything's possible. Except, it, well, that's such a trite, that's such an easy, it's like an easy out, really. Anything's possible in this moment. Okay, well... <laughs> You feel that way, right? You feel the unlimited potential of when we don't know what we're doing, well, the sky's the limit. Or, well, there's an infinite amount of choices you could make. And you just don't know. Like if I said, okay, well, anything's possible. Which direction do I want to walk? And I walk that way, out the front door, out onto the street. Okay, well, now I'm on the street. Great. And then it's just a matter of, well, who's there? Is there someone I can talk to? Is there someone that can lead me a different direction? You know what I'm saying? Like, be careful who you get into a car with. I'm not saying jump into a car with strangers and see where, because they used to do that all the time, you know, and hitchhiking and everything. And you'd get across the country like that. Um, but now it's like, we're all scared, right? There's all this fear of what's out there. And also there's a fear of what's in here, in the mind. There's a fear of what's every, everything. It's like all, all scary. But what's possible? It's like, well, with what? With my body? Could Maybe not. Not for me. Um, if you have an injury or an illness or a disability or something, all of a sudden that's not happening. Um, you're not going to be running a marathon. You're not going to be climbing a Mount Everest. I can't even um, do a pull-up. You know, and a lot of people can't do a pull-up. So it's not necessarily that everything's possible, but it, it's the feeling of like not knowing what's going to happen and being open to receiving whatever the world has to offer. And I'm not really suggesting you do that because it's not necessarily how I operate because it's too scary and I don't trust people. Um, but it is a choice. When I say what's possible, like on earth, you know, um, we humans are just, it, what's so fascinating to me is that 
we are this unbelievably creative force and this creative power and species, and we have all of this vast, untapped creative potential as individuals. And then when you get more than one person together, forget about it. Two people, three people. You, you know, if you've ever been part of, I don't know, an exciting startup venture or anything, like it's like you believe that you can conquer the world if that's the way you want to look at it, which I don't, but save the world or, you know, whatever. Um, expand our consciousness to other galaxies, whatever floats your boat, I guess, but, um, or transform, you know, the consciousness of people through, et cetera, X, Y, Z, through art, through music, through ecology, et cetera, uh, medicine, whatever, you know? But there's this this feeling of like, if we just got a couple people on the same page and we're working together and everything, we can really make a big positive change in the world. And people do sometimes. Also, there's like a lot of resistance to change. And there's a lot of internal resistance to changing ourselves in the ways that we would need to, to actually be part of like the most, oh, uh, it's tough. It's really tough. You know, this, it, that kind of, that's that sort of idealistic, the optimistic spirit, which I'm, I love that. I really do. It's like, it doesn't get better than that as far as I'm concerned, but, but in reality, oh, well, I guess my tea is not done yet. It's, we've still got a few more minutes. So that's the reality is you just need to wait for the tea and it's going to take as long as it's going to take. If you drink it, it's not going to taste like tea if you take it out after two minutes. So it's going to be like water with a little flavor. Um, and of course, they'll make techno. I'm sure, there's like super infusion technologies that go really quickly, but I'm just waiting. So I don't know, guys. But I hope that I hope that all of you are out there doing your best and doing everything you want to be doing with your lives. I hope that you are living, you know, living your best life, as they say. Um, not that it's a competition, but the competition with yourself. I hope that you're competing with yourself. That's the only, if anything, that's you know, that's a more Oh, more honest and more pragmatic, you know, because we do we do have that spirit of competition and com comparison and all that. Um, but if we can do it in a friendly way or in a healthy way with ourselves, I think that that can lead us to a better place, possibly. Um, and a little friendly competition between comrades, between rivals, between whatever is fine. But like the way we do it in America here and actually not just America, but you know, in modern 21st century world, it's like, guys, come on, calm down. Like, let's calm down. It's too much. Um, what else? What else can I say? I'm just, uh, you know, just here, I'm just here, but I'm glad to be making another video because it's, it seems like I've been kind of off the video wagon. It's been a crazy, like August, September. It's been crazy. It's been so much going on. Like, are you, you guys with that? Like, there's so much going on. Um, yeah, so it's, I do, well, it's good to keep, it's good to keep everyone posted. Mm, what's going on with me, which I don't know that I actually shared anything, but that's fine. That's good. I really, uh, I will hope to be doing more music, more songwriting um, this fall and this winter as I was really enjoying and getting into that. Like, I think it was February, March, April. Yeah, it was springtime. And then sort of in the summer, it just kind of faded away. But I hope to return to that. I really do. So because that was that was honestly like the likes, the likes and comments that I got on my shorts where I just would do like 30 seconds of mm, impromptu songwriting were so much more meaningful, no offense, so much more meaningful than the ones I'd get from these where I'm sitting here talking because it's like, I don't know what I'm, I'm just sitting here. It's like a talking head, blah, blah, BS out of my face, you know, like, but when people like it, I'm glad for them, but it's, I don't get this like, oh my gosh, I'm so, <laughs> but with the music, if someone actually took the time to listen to what I wrote and they enjoyed it, that makes me feel like a huge amount of satisfaction. So I, I just really hope to continue with that on that track, the creative track. So, but when I started this in Jan, I said, I'm going to keep going and I'm not going to just give up. 
I'm going to keep talking because you never know. It might come in handy someday. I might need to talk. And I get so nervous talking in front of a camera still. I, but someday I might need to talk in front of a lot of people. And you know, this is at least some kind of practice, right? I loved public speaking in college when I took that. In fact, I loved every time that I've ever led a large group of people. I have really enjoyed that. And every time I felt like I'd be so underprepared and so nervous and I couldn't do it, once I get up in front of that crowd, like it, something just comes together and I'm like, oh, I'm a completely different person. I feel so confident. And like, despite the imposter syndrome, I remember once I did this presentation and afterwards... <laughs> People were coming up to me and saying, like, that was really good. I'm really impressed with what you just said and great job and et cetera. And I was absolutely convinced they were just messing with my head. Like, there's no way that they're going to go out of their way to, to praise my performance, right? No freaking way. And I just couldn't believe it for a while. It took me a while to, like, think back and say, no, well be pretty delusional and paranoid to think that all these people conspired to secretly make fun of my speech, right? So <laughs> I had to accept that it was genuine praise. Um, and that did those kind of, and I've had that kind of feedback more than once. And it just makes me wonder like, oh, maybe I'm in the wrong arena. Like maybe I do need to be more public facing or front or outward facing in some way rather than like hiding under a rock, you know what I mean? So I guess I'll just keep doing this for now. So I hope that you're all well, and I'm going to go drink my tea and um, then get on with the day. Bye.